hit home runs, but he's not Babe Ruth. <laughs> well, maybe he's not Babe Ruth, but maybe he's better, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a new Muhammad Ali, because he has, oh, entertainer, he, he, is, he it brings joy and life yeah. to the heavyweight division and boxing. Because in essence, even though boxing is a sport, which it is, it still has to be entertaining to attract people. And, and Tyson Fury is a superb fighter, but he's also an entertainer. So how does it shake out, Bob? Break, break down the fight. How, how do you see it going round by round? It's going to go quicker than it did last time. I would think that that he knocks him out by the fifth or sixth round. Bob, last thing, any comments on Tilbert Wilder? Well, I don't know. Well, well, I, don't, I can't speak for Wilder. I've never promoted Wilder. Does he retire after losing to? Probably not, but I don't know. Bob, Bob, comments on Wilder not, not talking today? What? Comments on Wilder not talking at all today. Did you How would a fuck would I know why Wilder didn't talk today? From a promoter standpoint, is that disappointing that he didn't do that? What? From a promoter standpoint, disappointing that he does not do that. But look, maybe it's better. There's two things. One, a guy like Tyson Fury goes, talks, entertains, and so forth. That's great. Two, a guy, a fighter like you've seen, gets up and talks and talks gibberish. Gibberish, gibberish, gibberish. And and sometimes they talk in a hurtful way. They say something that's socially not correct, and there's a whole big storm. You know, I've see, had fighters get up and inadvertently make an anti-gay remark, <laughs> ah, and the shit hits the fan. So sometimes it's better that they stay silent, right? Can't get into trouble. Bob, I don't know if you've been asked about Tofimo testing positive for COVID today. Who? By uh, Tofimo Lopez. Yeah. Pushed yeah. Back. And uh, can you also touch on his, um, uh, they restructure his contract or something like we that? We restructured Tofimo's contract, and I hope as a result of the restructure, he didn't get the COVID. <laughs> but, <laughs> but again, it's really, and look, let me tell you something. We tell all our fighters, you guys are fighting for big money and as a, promoters are laying out big money. Get yourself vaccinated so you don't contact the COVID. Now, you take the two fighters here, uh, uh, Fury is totally vaccinated, and I talked with Shelly Finkel a little while ago, and he said, that Wilder has been fully vaccinated, and their corners have been vaccinated. Mm -hmm. That's th taking responsibility. Now, Tiafimo, you know, he was off with this Trilla thing and so forth. Uh, there, there was no reason why, before he went into training, that he didn't get vaccinated. No reason. Yeah. And if he had gotten vaccinated, he wouldn't have lost his payday. So I feel sorry for him, but the fight will happen. But again, this is different from when we first went into the bubble last June and we had every other fight with a guy getting COVID because nobody really knew how to handle it. Yeah. But now with the vaccination, anybody gets COVID, shame on them. Yeah. Shame on them because they hadn't taken the time or they hadn't for some crazy reason decided not to get vaccinated. So That's, what, nuts. That's nuts. So what happens now with Teo in terms of uh, top rank? I saw that uh, e um, pay-per-view is the obvious goal for him. How are you thinking of matching him if he wins Ooh, this fight? With Teo. With Teo? Yeah, with Teo. What, what happens after if he beats George? Like, well, how are you guys there, there are some good fights, good pay-per-view fights for Teo. A rematch with Lomachenko. Uh, a fight with uh, uh, Josh Taylor, not a good one, or even a fight with Ramirez, you know, leading to a judge. So, I mean, I'm not concerned with uh, making big fights for Tiafimo in the future. When you mentioned Josh Taylor, it could be for eight titles, right? What? When you mentioned Josh Taylor... No, it's only for four. It's not for... <laughs> it's only four? No, Why not a catch weight? Yeah, but... 135, 140. But then it's for none. <laughs> you either get four or you get zero, but you don't never get eight. But what, what, 137.5. Let's imagine. Actually, is that the Bob most will. likely, Bob, though? Is the Josh Taylor fight for Taylor, you feel? What? You think... Is, is that the most likely fight for Taylor? Is the Josh Taylor fight? 
Well, just for who? For Taylor? Taylor? Yeah. No, I would no because Taylor has uh, has to fight this English guy, Catterall. Yeah. That's the deal. And once he fights Catterall, probably you you know it'll be next year. So again, I mean, uh, I know that and 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 Taylor, on the other hand, is looking to go up to fight uh, Crawford. So that's a big. So a, a lot of a lot of good fights. How they get matched up, we'll we'll see in the future. What is Bob, next for Terence? Thank you. What is next for Terence, Bob? What? What is next for Terence? For for, for Crawford. We're, we we're discussing that, and uh, you know there, there are a lot of guys that he can fight that are interesting. Uh, there's a lot of uh, 140 pounders that want to go up to 147. Like maybe Ramirez, maybe uh, Prograce, uh, maybe uh, a, a number of guys that we've been talking to. Maybe Zepeda would be a hell of a fight. Errol Spence and Pacquiao. What? Well, yeah. What do you, what do I don't got? count Manny out. <laughs> okay. Don't count Manny. Everybody, you, you look at that fight and you say, come on. Yeah. It's an easy fight for Spence. That's what people said when Manny fought De La Hoya. Don't count Pacquiao out. He has something special about him. You know Manny very well. What, what, what yeah. little, what, what's the smallest thing that you think is going to trouble Spence uh, in the ring? Like, what's anything stand out? Like yeah, yeah, because of the way that Pacquiao moves. Remember the De La Hoya fight when he was in with a slower guy like De La Hoya who couldn't do it, he could fight. Mm -hmm. He went, for, he, 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 he attacked from the left side. By the time De La Hoya responded, Pacquiao was on the other side. Uh -huh. He's a very, very difficult fighter to fight. Yeah. Now, if he starts standing in there and slugging it out with Spence, who's much bigger, then he has problems. But he, if he keeps moving and pecks away at Spence, he'll win the fight. Manny hasn't faced a, a southpaw um, in a very long time. Do you think that will come into play at all? Nah, it doesn't them? matter for Pacquiao. His style, it doesn't matter. How was the meeting uh, Friday with Team Crawford? Good. Everything was good. Everything we have a plan. October? What? October? Well, I don't know exactly. I mean, you know, there are dates, there are football, there's, we have to clear dates with ESPN, with with the pay-per-view business. I mean, but again, whether it's October or November, or early November, we'll see. Bob, going back to Manny, if he does and is able to beat Errol Spence, what do you think that does for his legacy and how it adds on to it? Well, it helps him get pre become president of the Philippines. That's more important than a legacy. <laughs> Right? We never had a president of a country who was a great fighter like Manny Pacquiao. Is that the next move you feel for him? Definitely. He, he I know for a fact. So that's this is going to be his last fight? Well, I don't know. Wouldn't, That'd be crazy. Can you, if can you imagine the excitement if the president of the Philippines, <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, oh my God. Right, comes to Vegas to fight Crawford or somebody, people will go crazy. Yeah, when have you ever true. had the president of a country right, <laughs> fight, fighting at the top level? Yeah. If you were the odds maker for, for Spence Pacquiao, what would it be? I'm not an odds maker. <laughs> With that. And remember, odds uh, uh, don't necessarily mean ability. Odds are what the public thinks and what the public bets. That's what people make the mistake. If, if, if a fight is 10 to 1 and people say, well, it's an outside fight. No, that means that most people think that fighter A is better and so they bet fighter A and the odds go to 10 to 1. But if now if somebody comes and makes a big bet on fighter B, then the odds go down. Has nothing to do with innate ability. <laughs> any advice on Spence on how to approach him during the press conference? On who? I, uh, any advice to Spence on how to approach Pacquiao during the press conference? I know a few fighters have gotten out of line and they paid for it. Any advice on Spence on how, how to? No, uh, Spence won't get out of line. I mean, he has no history of being that kind of person. Here, here's the key question, Bob. Did did Errol look a hundred percent to you in that last fight with Dan? 
Well, they, I, he, he didn't look as good as he did before. Mm. But that, again, time has now passed, and maybe it was just a question of time in order for him to get back his full abilities. Now, you mentioned don't be surprised if Manny wins, but do you feel that Manny will win? Well, you, Spence got to be a big favorite. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying yeah. don't so count well, Manny yeah. Pacquiao out. Um, any concerns about Fury wanting to get to 300 pounds? What? Any concerns about Fury wanting to get to 300 pounds? <laughs> Fury, who take? Fury says things for effect, right? <laughs> if you believe what Fury says, right? No, I don't think. Get he does look bigger. He is he in like better? He is, is, he, is Fury in better shape now than he was for the second fight? Yeah, yeah, because he has a much better team now. He has better nutritionists, uh, better strength and conditioning coaches. He's training better. Yeah, definitely. And he's getting used to Sugar Hill. I think that young man is going to make a mark as the best trainer in boxing. Hey, Bob.